That was freaking sick. Yeah! Let's go! This place is insane. I'm checking off a bucket list. One stadium at a time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. This is stadium vlog number nine. Right now I'm at Ford Field, just finished the Detroit Lions game, but uh, no rest for the wicked, I guess, because we are going straight to Little Caesars Arena to watch the Detroit Pistons take on the Golden State Warriors. The Pistons are bringing back throwback jerseys and a throwback court tonight. Super excited, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm up here at the club level of Little Caesars Arena and it's time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day today is all about proximity. After the Pistons moved from the Palace at Auburn Hills and the Lions moved from the Pontiac Silverdome, this area here became the one city in North America with all four teams all in the downtown core, all only four blocks from each other. Super cool, and it makes daily doubles like this, getting to see two games in one day, so easy. Gonna enjoy warm up here. Steph Curry is uh, warming up, so I'm gonna watch that, and then hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go.
final here from Little Caesars Arena. The Detroit Pistons upset win over the Golden State Warriors, 128-114. Great game. These throwback jerseys in court is freaking sick, man. Um, gonna make my way back to the hotel, then I'm gonna tell you guys what I saw uh, from this arena. Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back to the hotel. The uh, Detroit Pistons, wow, they played a really good game. You know, it's not every night you can say you beat the defending champions of the NBA. And uh, of course, Clay Thompson was out and they were coming off a of back to back, but beating the Golden State Warriors, especially uh, with Steph Curry playing, is uh, no easy feat. So, congrats to them. Uh, first, just going into the things or the singular thing that I got at the game. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff at the last time I went to Little Caesars Arena last night. Uh, so this time I just got this lanyard. Super cool. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah. There's the skyline with the Ambassador's Bridge. Super cool. Um, I'm going to scrap this, though, because it's made for a ticket. You put a ticket inside here. But let's be honest, nobody uses paper tickets anymore, at least not a lot of people. So just going to use the lanyard for keys, all that kind of miscellaneous stuff but uh yeah little caesar's arena uh, i did a dive into kind of the certain things little caesar's arena has in my other vlog from that arena but uh i didn't give a rating so this time i'm going to give a rating of course just go into certain things first the ambient lights i don't know if you can see in some of the shots but um up above the lighting system, love it. It's so awesome, made from LEDs. Really makes for a cool experience, a really unique experience. Concourses, wide, was never shoulder to shoulder with anybody. Um, the lighting, I think just in general, I think one thing that Little Caesars Arena did amazing was their lighting. It was, you know, spot on, freaking spot on. Um, yeah, wide concourses. I didn't eat here this time. I actually stopped it shake shack after the game it's one thing uh we don't have in canada so i took advantage of that but uh they have a bunch of options you know you're not going to be disappointed one big thing is they have a lot of pizza options of course little caesars being uh the arena sponsor and having their headquarters in detroit um but you know there's options uh obviously if you want to eat somewhere else it's all really up to you, but you're not going to be disappointed with the stadium food. It's not just like your run-of-the-mill hot dogs, popcorn, and stuff that a lot of stadiums um, have. But uh, yeah, it was um, it was really cool. Easy getting in, easy getting out. Of course, I didn't drive, so I can't really comment on that. But uh, yeah, super cool arena, super cool jersey, super cool court. I mean, the throwbacks are just chef's kiss. Yeah, I mean, there was lots of entertainment. That's one thing I'll say is that I've been to a few NBA games and none of them had as much, you know, entertainment. They were doing stuff at timeouts, at half. They had the dog, they had the flying guys, they had the the dancing horse, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. You know, it really keeps you engaged. And for me, I was engaged. I was trying to watch the Seahawks on my phone while watching the game, but they just had me in trance, so... Yeah, it was it was really fun. It's a really cool uh, arena, really cool experience. Hopefully the Pistons can uh, start doing a little better. Of course, they have some young talent, some promising talent. So hopefully we can see them in the playoffs in the near future. But uh, yeah, I think Little Caesars Arena is one of the cooler stadiums. It's really modern, obviously an upgrade from the Palace at Auburn Hills. But uh, yeah, I'd say a rating. Um, this is tough. I would say probably an eight and a half out of 10. I think it was really good, really good. I don't know if it's a 10. I, I wanna make it so I'm not giving 10s out so easily because I feel like scale of one to 10, there's gotta be ones, right? And there was also gotta be 10. So eight and a half, I think is a good rating. It's a really good arena. I would recommend going to it 100% to see both the Pistons and the Red Wings. So uh, yeah, that's it. This is ending a super long weekend here in Detroit. Well. I mean, two days, but it was jam-packed start to finish. So, yeah, I mean, that's all I got. I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. Um, 
like, subscribe, follow the Instagram if you like what you see. Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.